Talkie. We're coming to you live from the Cedarburg, which is 300 kilometers north of Cape Town. It's famous for the San Bushman rock art. Some of this art is as old as 6,000 years. The sand rock paintings, the red, the color that it is now, is made from Irland's blood and crushed iron. And some of the faces of them, as you can see all over the wall, um, some of them have hook faces, which is probably because their faces were painted white, which the white was made from crushed clay. This was is more recent um, rock art finger painting done by the Kwekwe who came from the north. Expert historians believe that these half human, half animal figures represented the shamans who went into trance. These figures are known as therianthropes. The San were hunter-gatherers, traveled from place to place, hunting earlunt and kudu and other wild game. They didn't have permanent residence, whereas the Kwekwe came from the north with herds of cattle and started to compete with the San for land, which changed their way of life. This famous rock art site depicts three rows of people and a herd of elephant. It's not a hunt because there's no hunting equipment and the people are standing very close to the elephants who are facing outwards in a defensive position. It may well depict some kind of rain-making ritual. So in this cave, as you can see, there there live bats and leopards sometimes come here. Over here is a little cave where the blues live. And I'm sure somewhere around here there's a dusty or two. Yeah. What did we see on our hike yesterday? Mongoose. That's right. Hello, little friend. These incredible rock formations are sandstone of the Cape Supergroup. The sand was compressed under the sea and later uplifted to form the Cape Fold Mountains when Africa split away from South America about 310 million years ago. Since then, these formations have been gradually eroded by wind and water into the spectacular shapes you see today. These rocky areas provide protection for baboons, dassies and small rodents. Baboons have very poor night vision and they sleep up on the cliffs for protection from predators like leopards and caracal. There are three main types of fainbos that grow in this area. The cedarberg gets its name from the endangered cedar tree. This region also boasts the rare snow protea. This is taibos, which means tough bush in English. The bushmen used it to make their bows and they would eat the seeds or use the seeds to flavor honey beer. This is Bobian's toe, which means baboon rope in English. It's strong enough to bear the weight of a grown man and traditionally it was used to help cure headaches and aching joints. Lichen grows only in areas that have very low air pollution and takes very long to grow so some of these might even be 
hundred years old. This is Stutzel Cave. Stutzel means city wall of the Afrikaans. European settlers arrived in the area from the 1720s. They started farming and this brought to an end half a millennium of sand bushman hunter-gatherer existence in harmony with nature. Thank you for joining us, rock art hopping through the Cedarburg. We've had lots of fun. See you soon. Bye! Bye. Bye.